So today I'm going to take you step by step on opening up a Notion account. So we're going to actually hop over here in real time so you can follow directly along. Now, as we go through this, if you want to actually check out Notion, I'll have a link for them in the show notes down below, jump you right to the page. If you go with the paid plan, that does help support out this channel so we get more free content just like this. So here on the main page of Notion, from clicking that link, you'll jump right into this page. You'll see right here in the center, it says get Notion free. Now they do have sometimes free trials and they do have a free version if you're going with a personal account. And if you're going with a business account like we typically do here with our channel, you are going to be having fees that come about that are gonna be on a monthly basis and you can go higher than that with other types of tiers. So what we're gonna do is click on Get Notion Free. Now the first thing it's gonna ask us is to sign up with an email. We could also continue with Google or continue with Apple. So if you already have your accounts kind of connected, this might actually help you jump ahead if you would like. So we're actually gonna go the step-by-step -step process by plugging in our company email and then going on to the next step. Now once we went ahead and plugged in our email, you can see now it's going to send us a temporary code. We're gonna plug that code in and then continue to create our account. So for right over here, it's gonna ask us our name and then down at the bottom underneath that, it's gonna be our password we create. We can go ahead and add a photo right here if we wanted to. Make sure that the agree is checked on if we go through that process and then make sure we hit continue once everything is filled in. Now from here, it says, how are you planning to use Notion? You can see right over here for my team, for personal use or for school. So whichever option works best for you, the personal is going to be a free option. If you are gonna have a couple of collaborators and other team members, it might be best for going with team Again, this is going to be the paid version for you, but definitely whatever works best for you, make sure you click on that and then we're gonna go on to continue. Now, because we are going with a business account here, it is going to ask us what kind of work we do, what is my role, the size of the company, and what we're planning on doing in Notion. And once all that is filled out, we're going to hit continue. So I'm gonna fill this in so you can go along with this process as well. Now, before we continue on, while you are filling out this information, I wanna quickly mention if you are somebody who is a small business owner like myself, who loves being around other like-minded individuals, I actually run a mastermind that I'm gonna put in the link for the show notes down below so you can check it out. We actually gather about twice a month so that way we can support one another, talk about business, and continue to grow our revenue. Now, if that sounds like something that you wanna be a part of, make sure you check out that link down below so we can support you and help you continue with your small business. So in this next section here, it's going to go ahead and ask us for our team workspace. So from here, you can either put the name of your company or any other other type of name that we want. We could even choose an icon. So we're gonna fill this out and go onto the continue page to go to the next step. Now in this section right over here, if you have teammates already, you can go ahead and plug in their emails. You can also get a share of a link to send that to them so they can create their account and be part of the actual settings so that way they can go ahead and contribute into this. Now, if you don't have anybody you wanna add into right now, you can just go ahead and say, take me to Notion, and that is gonna go ahead and jump you in. So for the link that we have, we are getting a 14 day free trial. Same thing with the link that you click in the show notes down below, it'll take you through that first two weeks entirely for free. You can cancel at any time. But of course, if you are going to love this, you can go ahead and plug in all the information. You can also hit no thanks to continue to just go entirely free if you do not want to actually get the paid version. You can just start off with a free trial and have it end automatically. And just like that, our Notion account is up and running. Like I mentioned earlier, the link in the show notes down below will take you to get your two weeks free trial. You can also use that link to just go ahead and sign up for the free version as well. And because we are business owners and I wanna make sure you have the best tools to run your business, check out my video right over here to learn about Novo Bank so you have the best business bank account under your tool belt.